Are you in a relationship where you and your partner are struggling to have sex? You guys are having less sex day by day and you're starting um, to get worried. Um, so your partner popped the question, can we try anal? And you were just like, oh my God, I don't think I'm ready for that. Well, if you're interested in that kind of content or if you are in that relationship, stay tuned. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Black and Blending. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships and helping you grow old with the people you love. So if you are interested in making your love life the best part of your life, start now by subscribing below and turning your notification bell so that you are notified every time we post a video. All right. So I've had three ladies approach me on Instagram asking me about how to treat or take care of your vagina, which we are referring to in this video as your yoni. All right. So one of the ladies mentioned that her partner has been requesting for more anal sex and she has been giving, but at the same time, she feels as if he's just the sex or the relationship is not um, as it used to be because he doesn't go down there. All right, so he wants her to go down, but he doesn't want to go down and she's just figuring She's just trying to figure out what went wrong. What did she do? You know, so the second person sent me a message saying that the Husband is requesting for anal sex because apparently um, The vagina is not what it used to be and I don't know what the, what's that and then the third person was just um, trying to get their vagina tight, but I've made a video with some um I've made a video about something similar. I will put the link up um, above here and you guys can check it out. But anyway, let's just um, go straight to business. All right. So I'm no expert. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm no expert, but I do um, have a lot of um, friends. Let's say that. I have a group. <laughs> so um, my husband and I obviously do our research. And also we um, have friends, you know, guy friends, female friends, where we get our information from. So that when I deliver to you, it's not just my opinions, but it's also the opinions of the people surrounding, uh, surrounded, I'm surrounded by, sorry, <laughs> the people I'm surrounded by. And also just research that I also get from the internet. All right. So um, the first thing. I noticed with all these three ladies, it all had to do with the Ioni. So everybody was worried about what can I do to make myself tight so my man can love me again? What can I do to make myself smell um, good so that my husband can muff me again? What can I do to stop my husband from having um, to having a lot of anal then for... Um, than him you know for us to just go back to having the normal sex that we used to have all right so for me firstly i'd say you know um every person has two mouths right you have this mouth and you have the other mouth they both want to get satisfied equally just like you eat and you get full i mean that mouth also wants to get some satisfaction you brush your teeth every day you make sure that you brush your teeth in the morning you brush your teeth at night you use mouthwash you go to the dentist so the question is what are you doing for your second mouth how are you taking care of of that mouth all right so people say oh eat be true i'm mean, not be true sorry eat um eat pineapples pineapples make your vagina smell nice so this so that so that there's a whole lot of things that you can do but for me personally i just prefer um uh, cold water and soap just wash your vagina daily with cold water and soap and if you do want your vagina to kind of have like um I don't know how to describe it maybe moist or or get a little tight because your vagina i don't think your vagina can actually go back to being a virgin but you can just sit in cold water so you just put cold water and you just sit in it all right so the the reason why i made this video is not to tell you about how to take care of your um your your vagina or whatever no that's not the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is should you allow your husband or should you guys do um anal or not so most people out there say anal is very painful, but let's just think about it. You were once a virgin and it was sore, but you did it anyway. When you did it over and over again, you got to a point where you also enjoyed it. So I feel like with anal, it's exactly the same thing, you know? So at the beginning, you'd be a virgin and, you know, you'd carry on. So what I've noticed is, so a lot of the people were mentioning that when you've been with somebody um, for a long time and you've done all the tricks in the books and now you're looking for something new, some people incorporate, some people said that they actually incorporate toys in their sex life which i don't have a problem with and also some people said um they actually wanted to try anal now there's two reasons why men actually try anal i'll tell you this number one is because um they heard about it from somebody the friends have been bragging oh my god no 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 and then they want to try it and the second one is they've seen it 
uh, you know, during while they were watching porn, and now they're thinking, okay, we've run out of tricks. Let's just try this one. Okay. So if you if you are in a relationship, okay, let's say if you are in a marriage rather, if you're in a marriage, I don't see the reason why you and your partner should not explore things, right? But at the same time, if you don't like anal, I think after you and your partner have done the deed, I think it's best you sit your partner down and you say, listen, hun, like I'm in love with you and I enjoy every little you know move and whatever we do however <laughs> that that mouth is there no <laughs> so you just let your partner know that no you don't um actually like anal it is very painful and you don't really feel as if you're enjoying it all right and also like i mentioned before and i've mentioned in a lot of my videos that communication is super important so maybe just sit with your man down and ask him why aren't you muffing me you know like what am i doing wrong at the same time you're a woman go on the internet you know talk to your female friends ask them you know how do you take care of yourself because you must understand that you know it's not just your appearance it's also like um how you take care of your other mouth and also how you do the deed because i mean nobody wants just somebody laying there you know we all want somebody who puts in the effort somebody who puts in who wears lingerie and a lot of the the like um a lot of the female that i spoke to right they were a bit of the older group they mentioned that um wearing g-strings and and lingerie is like something that's regarded for prostitutes and some and you know and stuff like that but i mean it's your husband what what are you ashamed of why are you ashamed to put on a nice lingerie or a nice g-string you know for your for your husband why are you so ashamed of saying hey you know what i'm gonna take charge today sit down there and let me do what i gotta do you, you want to be in a relationship where your husband is at, at work and you send him a picture and he's just like i can't wait to get home that's the type of relationship you want to be in and i'm just saying to all the women out there or the the women who sent me the messages on instagram is that the problem there's no there's nothing wrong with anal there's nothing wrong with your husband wanting anal what i feel like what we need to actually do is get out of our comfort zone because you cannot say, I've got him now, I'm cool, I'm not going to take care of myself, he already knows what my vagina tastes like, and whatever, whatever. Oh, no, stop! It doesn't work like that. You must, it's, it's like, your your relationship, your life, your marriage is a work in progress. You always want to get better and better and better and better. You want to be able to, when you, when you, you know, you've done whatever you've done to your man, he's just like, oh my God. Because let me tell you something. When you're not doing something, there's somebody out there. You know, there are people who have dated 50 million. You know, they've, they've slept with thousands of men. But when that person puts you there and rides the hell out of you, I'm telling you, you'd, be, you'd, be, you'd, you'd literally insult your, your parents. You'd insult your father because that's just how good it is. So what I want women out there, married women actually out there to do is get out of your comfort zone. Give your man what he wants and let him know how you want it you understand i'm not saying that it's a woman giving men and men not giving no the reason why i'm actually making this video is because women came to me it was not men if it was men it was my, it would have been my husband sitting here and letting you guys you know um you know giving you guys this advice but it's because it's the women that asked i thought it was only you know fair because i'm a woman to come out here and do this all right so yeah like i mentioned i have made a video about how to get your vagina tight how to clean it you know hunt and how to make it enjoyable but what you guys must understand is sex is not a one-way street it's a two-way street if your man does you know wanna enjoy it and whatever and he wants to come it should also benefit you you should also feel like oh my god i just came out of war and my husband and i we done did the things you understand but i feel like what we need to start doing is getting out of our comfort zone and make, if, if somebody says oh my god this girl's talking about sex she a prostitute let me tell you something i'll be anything for my husband anything he wants me to be i'll be because i know he'll return the favor for me so that's what basically you need to do number one you need to take care of your yoni when your man goes down and he just kisses your thigh it must smell like i don't know flowers roses the pineapples whatever he likes it must smell like that and obviously it won't smell like that it will smell like a normal yoni but i'm just saying that that freshness or whatever will want will make him to wanna you know 
um, take charge and also just do Matthew or do whatever. But what I want, um, what's the most important thing that I feel people should take out of this conversation is that get out of your comfort zone. Put on that juice thing and take a picture for a man. Ride your husband. Go on top of him and ride him like a horse. You understand? Take charge. Let him know that the woman is ma he married is the same woman he got now. Don't let go and be like, I got grades. I got a time for this. I've been cooking and cleaning tits. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you don't do it, somebody else will do it. And if your man comes and says, hey, you know what? He brings up a new style. Don't just cut him off. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to try to try it out nobody ever died from trying out anything you understand you married this man he's seen you you know he's seen you from head to toe with the weave without a weave without makeup without with makeup he's seen all the scars in your face and he's staying all i'm saying is or all we saying <laughs> or all men are saying and women out there who enjoy it like the rest of us are saying is just take charge you know take charge send me a picture of your you know cooking in a lingerie even if not cooking even if you're just stirring a pot of water send me a picture you know send me a picture i'll actually i'm telling you your man will be there he'd be number one he'd literally be flying you know from work um to get to your house well Thank you so much for tuning in to Black and Blending. That's all we have for today. 